Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in the comments below. Today we're going to be looking at a worksheet called Winter Math. In this worksheet, we're going to work on a really important skill. We're going to make adding easier for you. We're going to do this by turning some numbers that might not be so friendly into friendly numbers and balancing equations. Let's read the directions and I'll show you what I mean. In each row, check the correct additive. First, let me tell you what an additive is. An additive is just something you add to something else, like in this equation or in a recipe. Let's check out the example 78 plus 27. This question wants to know 78 plus 27 is the same as blank plus 25. Okay, so I can see that the 27 is turning into 25. So the question you have to ask yourself is how did I turn 27 into 25? Did I add something or did I take something away? Well, 27 is more than 25, so we probably took some numbers away. We can count backwards to find out how many. We have 27, 26, 25. We took away two. So if we did 27 minus 25, you'll see that it's a difference of two. So if you took away two from 27 to make 25, you're going to have to add two to the other number, 78, to make it the same answer. This is called balancing equations. So let's go ahead and add 78 plus two, and that'll give us an answer of 80. So we know that 80 plus 25 is the same as 78 plus 27, but adding 80 plus 25 is a lot easier than adding 78 plus 27. You see in 80 plus 25, zero plus five is five, that's really easy. And eight plus two, eight, nine, 10, that's, a hun that's 10, which makes our answer 105. In order to answer 78 plus 27, we first have to add seven plus eight, and then we have to add seven plus two. This is a way more difficult problem. That's why in this worksheet, we're gonna practice making friendly numbers. Let's take a look at our first question. We have 62 plus 24 is the same as 60 plus blank. So first, let's write our equation of 62 plus 24. I see that we're changing 62 into 60. Again, I have to ask myself, how did I get from 62 to 60? Well, I had to take some away. How many did you have to take away? Well, if we did 62 minus 60, we know two minus zero is two, and six minus zero is six. So we had to take away two. And if we took away two from 62, we're gonna have to add two to 24 to find out what the other additive in this problem is. So let's add 24 plus two. First, we'll add four plus two in the ones place. Four, five, six, four plus two is six, and two plus nothing is two. Now we have the equation 60 plus 26. And that is, of course, the same as 60, 62 plus 24. So the correct answer is 26. 26 is the correct additive. Remember, whatever you take away or add to the other side, you have to do the opposite to the other number. Let's look at another problem. The next problem has us adding 43 plus 36. Question wants to know, what's the same or the missing additive in 40 plus blank? So how did we get from 43 to 40? Can you do this in your head? I bet you you can. If you count backwards from 43, 43, 42, 41, 40, you'll see that we took away three. So if we took away three from 43, we're gonna have to add three to 36. So if we add 36 plus three, six plus three is nine, and three plus nothing is three. We're left with 39. 40 plus 39, is a way easier problem to solve than 43 plus 36. Adding any number with a zero or a five is gonna be easier than adding an odd number or really any other number between zero and 10. 
So in this answer, the correct answer, the correct additive is 39. Let's look at the next example. 57 plus 28. In this problem, we're changing the second additive from 28 to 25. Remember, those fives and zeros are those friendly numbers, which is going to make adding a lot easier. So how do we get from 28 to 25? Well, let's count backwards. Looks like we're taking away 28, 27, 26, 25. We took away three. So what do you think we're going to have to do to 57? Well, we're going to have to add three to 57. And seven plus three, I know that, that's making a 10. Seven plus three is 10. Put a zero in the ones place and carry a one. Five plus one is six. So now we have 60 plus 25. So in this problem, the missing additive is 60. And 60 plus 25 is way easier than adding 57 plus 28. Our next example is a three digit problem. 265 plus 380. In this problem, 265 is turning into 245. So, is 265 more or less than 245? Well, it's definitely less, but how much less? Let's subtract to find out. 265 minus 245. 5 minus 0, 5 minus 5 is 0. 6 minus 4 is 2. And 2 minus 2 is 0. So it is 20 less. So, if we had to take away 20 to make 265, 245, on the other side, we're going to have to add 20 to 380. This is an easy problem to add. 0 plus 0 is 0. 8 plus 2 is a 10. 0, and carry the 1 into the hundreds place. And 3 plus 1 is 4. So now we have the new and easier problem to solve, 245 plus 400. Finally, our last example, another three digit by three digit problem. 785 plus 260 is the same as 745 plus blank. Again, how much, again, what's more? 785 or 745? Well, 785 is more, but how much more? We could subtract these two numbers right here to see how much more. 5 minus 5 is 0, 8 minus 4 is 4, and 7 minus 7 is 0. So we know that it's 40 more. So if we took away 40 from this side of the equation, we're going to have to add 40 to this side of the equation. 0 plus 0 is 0. 6 plus 4 is a 10, which is 0 in the tens place. Carry the 1 to the hundreds place. And 2 plus 1 is 3. So in this problem, we now have 745 plus 300, making the missing additive 300. Remember, when you're trying to make problems easier, try to go to a five or a zero in the ones place. Whatever you do to the first number, whether it's adding or take away, you have to do the opposite to the other number to balance the equation. Then you'll have an easier problem to solve. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. We'll see you next time. Like us and subscribe to our channel. Find links to our apps and comments below.